Welcome back. In your new pursuit in growing your relationship with Christ, reading the Bible is going to be crucial. When I first put my trust in Jesus, it was when I actually read about him that my life began to transform. So I'm going to show you how to integrate Bible reading into your life. I'll start by giving you a quick layout of where to begin in the Bible, along with the undergirding reasons for why reading this is important, followed lastly by how to actually do it consistently. So firstly, Here's what I would recommend to anyone first reading the Bible. Answer the question for yourself of whether you're a visual reader or an audio reader, because reading the Bible can come in both forms. If you're better at reading visually, then I will point you to an app that you can get on your phone called The Bible Project. They give you easy access to the Word of God, including multiple good English translations. You can also switch between light mode and dark mode. This video isn't sponsored, by the way. This is just my genuine recommendation to you guys for starting out. Or you could also grab a physical Bible in your household. Uh, most families carry a Bible with them. Now, if you're more of the audio type, then there's a few options that I'm going to list off here. So number one, you can download the Bible audio app, which is very easy to use. The second way you could do this is you could look it up on YouTube. You look up the various books of the Bible. Number three is for any of you with a Spotify premium account, go ahead and look up on that app, the NIV Audio Bible. Uh, granted, it's going to be difficult at first to find the books because they only label it by chapter numbers, but you could get the hang of it after playing around with it a bit. My personal favorite way to listen to the Bible is by looking it up on YouTube. Uh, I look up the NKJV translation. Uh, the videos for that specifically look like this, and the audio for it is amazing. But now that we got the technical stuff finished, let's get on to where to begin. I would absolutely recommend starting in one of the four Gospels. Those are the eyewitness accounts of the life of Jesus, so you can get to learn about what he said and did. The four Gospels consist of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. For me personally, I started off with the Gospel of John, and it has been definitely my favorite out of the four Gospels to read. But once you complete any one of those books, you'll want to then hop on over to the book of Acts, which talks about what happened after Jesus resurrected and how the church itself started. Then just go on from that book onward to the rest of the New Testament. Once you've finished with Revelation, then go on ahead to reading the other Gospels that you didn't before, and then embark on to the Old Testament. Reading the book of Proverbs is a good way to begin there. And once you've finished reading it for the first time, then you could go ahead and start in the New Testament again and continue to refresh your mind on the things with the Bible habit. Now, I know that was a lot of stuff I just jam-packed you with, but don't feel overwhelmed. You're not going to read the Bible in one night. But before I show you how to start reading, I'd actually like to present some of the reasons to show why this is all important to do. I know pretty much all of us struggle with the lack of motivation to read God's word, and that's okay. As someone who struggles with that myself, I know how it feels. So here are some undergirding reasons that show why reading this is important. First off, reading the Bible is crucial for knowing God yourself, and I'll show you why that's the case with an example of everyday life. So take a friend that you're very close with and you know deeply. Now, I want you to imagine that you've never heard a single word this person said, nor have you read anything that they've typed or written. How much would you now know about your friend? Probably not much at all, and that's because we mainly know people by their words. So moving this back to God, if a person's going to get serious about growing their relationship with God, yet they don't read his words, well then how are they going to get to know him? Through God's words, we can understand his nature, his character, what he's done in the world, what he intends to do with humanity, how he ultimately defeats death and evil, his will for your life, and much, much more. Another reason for reading the Bible is because it's going to give you a strong, natural defense against the attacks of the enemy. When I say the enemy, I'm talking about the influence of the outside world, the devil and his angels, and the sinful nature within us. All three of these seek to tear people away from the Christian life, you and me included. But it's through reading God's word that we can have a defense against these attacks. For example, if the enemy tries to tempt you to give up because you struggle with sin, yet you read the New Testament, 
you'll be able to combat this lie through knowing that sinners are the exact people Jesus came to save. A second example is when the world tries to convince you that there's multiple paths to God, and Jesus is just one of them. Now, if you read about Jesus, you wouldn't fall for this lie because you would know how Jesus boldly claimed that nobody comes to the Father except through him. Another reason for reading God's word is because of something I call the bleed effect. It's the basic principle that people you surround yourself with have an influence over you. Their language, personalities, and humor tend to bleed onto you. Now, this is both a bad and a good thing. It's bad to be influenced by worldly friends, but it's a good thing to have fellow Christians who bleed good morals onto you. This applies to the Bible, too. What I've noticed over the years of reading is that the Bible affects the way that I act in life. After reading a good portion of it, I find myself thinking biblically and acting biblically. So regularly reading the Bible is going to have a good effect on how you act towards other people in this world. But with that said, I'm going to give you my advice on how to make progress on reading this book. The biggest advice I have for you is that consistency is key. To show you an example, let's have two people who want to read the Bible for the first time. Person A decides in a burst of motivation that he's going to power through reading the Bible, and so he reads the Gospel of John in one day. John is 21 chapters long, so that's how many he read. But person B decides he's going to read only two chapters a day. Now, the problem with person A is that he hits a wall with motivation. His motivation is shot, and he struggles to muster any more motivation to keep on going, uh, and this lasts for the whole entirety of the month. So after a month, it ends up being the case that person A only got through 21 chapters, but person B actually got through 60 chapters, assuming this is a 30 day a month. And all of this is to say, guys, that consistency beats motivation any day. Now, with consistently reading the Bible, you need to find an amount that works for you. It might be that you want to read one page a day or 10 minutes, or maybe three chapters a day. Whatever's the case, try to find an amount that you can do even when you don't have any motivation. I found that the right balance for me currently is reading two chapters a day. And remember that you can always increase the amount if it's too easy for you. Now, once you have an amount, you need to pick a time when you're going to do it. Find something that you already do every day and attach your new Bible reading habit before or after that. I find the best time for me has been when I get out of bed in the morning. And so that, my friend, is my advice for Bible reading. But I actually have one more tip before you begin. Whenever you finish reading a book of the Bible, go ahead and look up that book on YouTube. Specifically, look up the Bible Project overview of that book. They do an excellent job describing the book as a whole with visuals that are really pleasing to look at. I find it extremely helpful with connecting the dots. Well, that's all for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and may God bless your relationship with Jesus forever.